Okay, so first of all, thank you all very much for coming to GovHack. This is officially the national close of the competition. Uh, everyone around the country has been celebrating uh, locally. It's all kicking off, that's right. Uh, so everyone around the country has been, uh, has been celebrating. In fact, can we just get a, a show of thumbs of all of our remote teams, just to make sure you're tuned in and you know what's going on? Thumbs. Show us your thumbs. I'm not muted. Oh, there's a thumb. Thumb, thumb. I think that's a thumb. And some people are ignoring us. Oh, some people are waving. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> so, everyone around the country has been celebrating locally, uh, watching a few videos of their local teams. Um, it, there's an incredible job. There's some amazing hacks that have been happening. We've had interest from Triple J's hack program, Four Corners, SBS. There's actually a show airing tonight about SBS, so go and check out the online SBS portal tonight for that. The Mercury and a load of other media outlets. So we'll be collating all the media coverage on the GovHack website. Uh, this is the official closing, and we'd like to uh, uh, just extend a, a warm welcome to country as part of the, uh, the closing ceremony. So it's been a huge weekend. We ended up having a thousand participants partic uh, get in, uh, register on the hackerspace across the country. With 48 hours, uh, there's been some incredible hacks and a huge congratulations to all. Judging actually starts tomorrow, so uh, we've got everything in. I'm sure there's going to be a few teams that uh, are going to be sending us information about something that went wrong, and, uh, but we're, we're going to be fairly strict about the deadline. Uh, and then the Wednesday night is when judging closes, but you can all judge on, on projects through the hackerspace. Uh, there's a People's Choice Award uh, for the most popular overall voted one, and for the rest of the awards, the voting just helps the judges uh, to have some context around those hacks. Uh, then the awards, the rest of the awards are actually handed out Thursday from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Canberra time. You can either drop into your local event, tune into the live stream on govhack.org, or you can check out our website for all the winners at 7 p.m. on, oh, sorry, 6 p.m. on Canberra time on Thursday. So we ended up having 134 teams register, uh, which we're really excited about. Adelaide had 26, so this is an order of the most teams per location. Adelaide had 26, congratulations Adelaide. Melbourne had 23, Canberra had 20. Sydney had 14, Perth had 12, Brisbane had 10, Gold Coast had 9, and Hobart had 6. And a huge shout out to Hobart, because uh, um, GovHack Tasmania actually had a, a fire warning and actually had to excavate their, um, not excavate, evacuate. <laughs> sort of like excavate, but not quite. They had to evacuate their premises uh, last night, uh, and, so, um, they, and yet they were just out on the street still hacking away, so good, good for them. What we're going to do right now is we're going to actually switch to each location, uh, to award the Spirit of GovHack Award, which is the only award that we're handing out tonight. This is $1,000 that the local team have decided on who they want to award it to, and then uh, we'll do the Canberra Spirit of GovHack Award straight after that. So what we're going to do is switch, first of all, to Melbourne. <laughs> <laughs> We've already had some acknowledgement of some of the um, incredibly... People have been incredibly generous with their time and their skills over the weekend, but our pick for a team was one who came together um, not previously knowing each other and have worked incredibly hard all weekend. So big shout out to Trample. Okay, back to us. Uh, now we're going to move to Tasmania. Mute. Now we'll move to Tasmania. Hello, get back. Now we've had a. Uh, oh, that's a if it random. wasn't for, uh, of course, we've got an evacuation here, which of course uh, none of the other GovHacks had had. So I think that uh, all our teams did splendidly well. In fact, uh, some of our teams actually kept hacking outside the footpath, uh, <laughs> which is just going to show you uh, how impressive some of our hackers that have been here today. Uh, we've had uh, an amazing GovHack, um, made possible by some terrific sponsors. I would like to thank all the Tasmanian sponsors and participants uh, and mentors and observers that have been over the court here for the course of the weekend, uh, even, of course, with our building uh, excavations, apparently, Pia. <laughs> and it couldn't be made possible without our, uh, our amazing national sponsors, but also uh, our local sponsors, which are the Tasmanian government and also the Times... No, 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 not sound issues. <laughs> and the typewriter factory, which is our terrific menu here, We've also got uh, C Domain, um, which is part of the Uni University of Tasmania, Tasmanet, and the, the Glenorchy City Council. We've also got sponsors from uh, PyCon Australia, Dr Coffee, uh, Tas ICT, and Red Bull Australia too. So I'd just like to give a round of applause for all those terrific sponsors. <laughs>
I'd also like to uh, give a uh, terrific uh, round of applause. I'd like to get the uh, GovHack task for you to come up here. And uh, if we could all give them a round of applause as to a terrific job they've done. Of course, without them, we would be able to Thank you very much. Now, uh, we'd like to, uh, at this point, uh, look at our uh, spirit of uh, GovHack. Now, we've actually split our, our spirit of GovHack uh, into two this year. Uh, the competition was that strong. The first one, I'd like to give a $300 prize uh, for our GovHack, spirit of GovHack honourable mention. And this honourable mention uh, goes to Marcus Bendal, Ben Lambert, James Rickack, Johnny Scholes, and Sean Walker, and Zach Goodsell. And then, uh, Walker, Zach, Zach's being not there, <laughs> Zach, James, yep. Ben, and uh, Mar Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Just <laughs> all around for another round of applause. <laughs> now, the reason why these guys have uh, received the honourable mention uh, for uh, the, Gov the Spirit of Gov Hack Award oh, is uh, this was the uh, fantastic team that uh, after the fire alarm went off, and we're all evacuated. Uh, the first thing these guys uh, did was grab their laptops and uh, go down on the street, and they've even actually tweeted about it. And they've got photos of them uh, hacking away on the street uh, in the dark. And so I think that uh, you can't get much more uh, spirit of gov hack than that. So for that, they deserve an honourable mention. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Now, we also have our actual Spirit of GovHack Award. I mean, everyone's done such a fantastic job here, and uh, obviously a lot of teams have participated. There's actually been one particular person that's actually stood out amongst all the others, which has been able to also help the committee, but also help all individual teams at one stage or another. And for that, I'd like to uh, bring up uh, Frank Sainsbury for our... Yay! of the GovHack national team, for without them, uh, this couldn't be possible. So can we give a round of applause for the national GovHack national team? Yeah. I'd also like to personally thank uh, Dean McCauley, who's in the uh, oh, Canberra GovHack team. For if it wasn't uh, for him bringing me uh, on board, uh, there would be uh, no, unfortunately, no GovHack for Tasmania. So thanks, mate. Thanks for bringing me to the GovHack meetings. And obviously, we ended up, uh, yeah, putting a little something together down here. Look, so thank you very much for everyone who was involved, and we really enjoyed it. Back to you. Thanks very much. That was fantastic. Uh, we'll switch now to uh, Sydney. Hey, everyone. We've had a fantastic time here in Sydney over the weekend. Uh, we've had a lot of activity, a lot of really good acts we've been watching just now. Some really good potential for things to be developed further. We've had mentors coming in all weekend and doing a fantastic job, and people have been learning so much. It's been been really great. Um, and we've had the media in quite a lot. SBS came in and did interviews this morning and Triple J this afternoon. So that's been been really great. Um, so we've had a fantastic experience. And for the Spirit of GovHack Award. Um, we've chosen a team who have been especially generous and supportive with helping uh, a person who is younger and less experienced, and we think that really embodies this, the spirit of GovHack. So I'd like to call on Intercept CEO Ian Gibson to present the Spirit yeah, thanks, of GovHack Award. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. So, so normally uh, in this sort of situation, you find someone either famous or good-looking or something like that. <laughs> We've got a very limited budget, which I can see. Uh, <laughs> not so you have, to, you have to put up with me, okay? So, thank you, Anne. <laughs> so, uh, open the envelope. So, the uh, the Sydney Spirit of Gut Hack Award goes to uh, Unibo. Are they here? Yay! Yeah, 
but we do have this of Nick and Bennett, which is a note from your wife saying it's time to go home. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks very much to all our sponsors and all our mentors. We got so many of them, we can't put them in time, but they really did add a substantial amount. Cheers. Okay. Thanks very much, guys. Uh, make sure you please put it back on mute, and we're going to now go to Gold Coast. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you can hear us. Uh, we've had a fantastic weekend down here on the Gold Coast. Nine teams. We just had all our local videos and pictures. There's some really great ideas. I want to announce the uh, Spirit of Gov Hack Local Award. The local award goes to Team Gov Hat. <laughs> For the Gold Coast, we had a fantastic turnout, 50 odd developers. So, together with Brisbane, I think Queensland really shone. Uh, thanks to all the mentors, the local sponsors, the judges, everyone that helped volunteer on the coast. And thanks, Pia, fantastic event. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, guys. Um, all right, now to Adelaide. <laughs> Hey guys, um, uh, we've had an absolute belter of a weekend. Uh, there's a lot of very tired, but very, I think, happy people that the third weekend has come to an end, but um, we've had an absolute ball. Um, before we get on to announce our prize um, for the local gov spirit of GovHack, um, I'd just like to thank a couple of our sponsors, particularly Government of South Australia, Deloitte and Dimension Data, who really came to the party for putting up sponsorship and getting this whole venue up. Uh, also, Flinders Uni, uh, who uh, we, um, they gave us this great venue, and uh, it's uh, despite a couple of minor water leaks uh, in a few rooms and a bit of scurrying about to avoid um, electrocution, uh, fair to say, uh, that uh, we were able to uh, get through the weekend unscathed. Um, to uh, present, I'd like to call up uh, Andrew Piper, to he's from the State Library of South Australia, and he's going to announce our local Spirit of Gov Hack Award. Andrew? Yes. We've got these special. Where is it? This way. There we go. <laughs> We're right here. So we'd like to thank everyone for participating, everyone around the nation for getting together this weekend. And for this special award, we'd like to award it to Eerie Z. <laughs> Oh, the nation waits upon them. <laughs> Come here, guys. Get yourself in the camera. Thank you. Look at this. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Thanks, guys. Back to Canberra. <laughs> All right, and finally, uh, well, not finally, we're going to go to Perth and then hopefully back to Brisbane. <laughs> Australia. It's been a fantastic weekend here in Perth. We've had a, a great time at Space Cube. We have not had no fires, no water leaks, so it's all been pretty, pretty good. I'd just like to uh, announce our spirit of gov hack here in Perth, and it goes to the Pick Story group, who have illustrated throughout the weekend, uh, throughout all the mentors that have come through the place, that uh, they've been willing to give some of their time and uh, explain what gov hack is to uh, some of the lesser known types uh, that have wandered through. But, uh, Just try and switch back to Brisbane now. 
Hey guys. Yay! Sorry, believe it or not, when Peter started speaking, our speaker exploded. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it's been a great weekend here in Brisbane. Um, we've had an awesome time. Uh, we've had a great space to work in, and um, at the teams have produced some really awesome, um, oftentimes funny uh, uh, entries to the to the competition. Um, I think we'll cut straight to the um, the spirit of GovHack uh, prize winners. Um, Jacina, have you got our certificates? Um, so I think um, the winners the winners of our uh, Brisbane Spirit of GovHack award is probably one of the youngest teams uh, in GovHack. Um, they've been great. They've they've kept everybody sort of happy when uh, when uh, we were flagging at 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, so the team is uh, Amethyst, and uh, the guys are from St John Paul's College. Um, we've got Aiden Hardage. Aiden, come and say hello. Yes. Aiden, hello, everybody. Well done. Uh, we've got Ilya Tikomarov. And also Hayden Jahal. Well done, Hayden. Thank you. Come, come say hello to Australia. Uh, okay, so um, that, that's it from us, guys. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you all very much. So what we're going to do is just, first of all, rapidly do the uh, local Canberra Spirit of GovHack Award, and then just get on with the, the rest of the closing. So uh, we actually broke ours down into two as well. Our runners-up uh, was a team that uh, basically they, they worked all night last night. They've been very helpful. Uh, they went and spoke to all of the, um, uh, to their data mentors a fair bit, and they came up with um, some really beautiful work. We wanted to uh, award the runners-up to Code Cadets. And we're going to actually give a, an, a certificate to them all, but we didn't have all the names yet, so hi. <laughs> Uh, they were our youngest team and um, they have worked very hard and we need to probably get more caffeine into them. So our actual winners um, was a team that actually isn't here because they had to go unfortunately because uh, of uh, travel restrictions. But it was actually a team called Null Reference and we're going to send them their award. But it was a team that they had their own project and um, uh, so it's Darren Reed and Adam Baxter. The reason we're awarding it to them is because even though they had their own pressures and they had their own things going wrong and lost some code and were learning Git from scratch, um, they still took a huge amount of time out of their days to, uh, to help other teams and to fix problems for other teams and we just thought that was a really generous and a really wonderful thing for them. So we're going to be getting in touch with them and passing on their prize to them. Now, to go through, yes. So to go through some last things, uh, first of all, uh, it's important to note uh, basically that so all the judging starts tomorrow, all the rest of the awards come out on Thursday night. Uh, we're just going to go through and say some thanks. We had tried switching to our slides before, but we don't want to break Google Hangout again. So I'm just going to run through them. Uh, so first of all, we had uh, some amazing um, sponsors that have really helped bring this day together across the country. The platinum sponsors nationally were NICTA, the e-government technology cluster, Microsoft and Intersect, so thank you to them. I'll, sa I'll save thanks to the very end so I can get through these fast, well, at my pace. Uh, the gold sponsors, Palantir, Link Digital, Linux Australia, Google, Relational IO, Nectar, and Ama uh, Amazon, I was about to say amazing web services, Amazon Web Services, uh, which has been great. Uh, so if, uh, if we can thank our platinum and gold sponsors, please. We then had a number of, a lot of government participation and support across uh, this entire event, uh, some of which actually also were gold sponsors, but I'm just going to put them all together. So we had the Australian Bureau of Statistics, the Department of Finance and Deregulation, the National Library of Australia, the National and State Libraries Australasia, Department of Broadband Communications and the Digital Economy, National Archives of Australia, Geoscience Australia, the Office of Spatial Policy, the Australian Tax Office and the Australian, oh, and that's all the federal ones. And then at the ACT level, we had the ACT government, Western Australia had the Western uh, Australian Government, Landgate, Western Australia Land Information System, Western Australia Public Transport Authority, the uh, Department of Agriculture and Food, Western Australia Department of Commerce, and the City of Perth. 
Queensland had the City of Gold Coast, Brisbane City Council Libraries, Queensland Museum. South Australia had the Adelaide City Council, Government of South Australia, the State Library of South Australia. Tasmania had the Tasmanian Government, Glenicky City Council. New South Wales had the New South Wales Department of Finance and Services. There are also a number of local sponsors in each location that are all up on the website. And uh, just locally, we also want to say thank you to the um, Inspire Centre at University of Canberra. So if we can do a huge round of applause for all of our sponsors, please. We also had 45 mentors. These are individuals that gave up their time to selflessly help teams all around the country. Some of them were data mentors, some were business mentors, some were um, other sort of technology and, um, and user experience mentors. So a huge thank you to them. Uh, and I'm going to just say a couple of quick thank yous uh, around the country. Obviously, there's been the team here in Canberra. There's been uh, 13 of us working on this, which I'll get to, and I'll embarrass them in a second if they could all then make their way to the stage. Um, but um, around the country, there's been seven other teams in seven other locations doing amazing work to pull this together. I'm just going to um, say a huge um, thank you to all of you. But in particular, I wanted to just reach out and say a huge thank you to Richard and Gail in Adelaide, to Richard in Tasmania, to Dave and Fiona in Melbourne, to Nick and Zane and all the rest in Perth, uh, to Anne and her crew in Sydney, to Ricky in Brisbane, and to Tanya in the Gold Coast. Without these individuals, none of those seven events would have happened, so a huge thank you to them. <laughs> At a national team level, I just want you all to um, join with me to, to thank uh, my excellent crew. Uh, first of all, Jeff Mason, uh, head of communications, uh, cat wrangler, overnight shift in Canberra, general round, you know, all around good guy. Uh, Gavin Tapp, who's uh, up here, our video guru, uh, venue magician, again, all around nice guy. I'm going to, I shouldn't say that for everyone. Okay, I won't. Um, <laughs> Steve DeCosta, who's upstairs, he, he ran our hackerspace, our website. He did um, our tech support for the teams with the Amazon Web Services and, um, and, and helped out with a lot of the social media stuff. Claire Payne, team liaison, all around awesomeness. Um, Dean McCauley, uh, uh, sustenance manager, is what I'm going to call him, who looked after all of your food and drink here in Canberra, but also was the mentor liaison nationally. Alex Sadlier, you should all be getting your butts onto this stage. Now, let's go. They did this last year. Um, Alex is our open data geek, CCAN extraordinaire, uh, looked after the developer kit and generally helped teams out a lot. Paul Davis, who I don't think could be here this evening, but he looked after our budget and he was our very own smiling man for anyone who ever read User Friendly. Um, and then we also had a bunch of Gov Camp volunteers who have been helping out all weekend as well. So Sharon Scott in, in particular, wherever Sharon's gone, Tom Worthington, Alex Roberts, uh, Steve Davies and Nerida Hart all put their blood and soul into this. So thank you all very much. And I'd like you to all just join me in thanking our wonderful national team. And of course, as per usual, Pia leaves herself off the list. Um, can everybody just put their hands together? Without Pia, these events just haven't happened in the past, and they continue to grow over a period of time. Which mic am I talking to? I don't know. <laughs> this one? This one. Pardon, I'll just talk to the people. Um, so if you could just put your hands together for Pia for pulling all this together again this year. <laughs> Alright, I'll let these guys go. We will be following this up with a survey of all participants and um, organisers, sponsors and uh, the government supporters in the next week or so, so we can make next year even bigger and better. Uh, I guess I'd like a, a bit of an indication for the room, if everyone could do Mexican waves so that we could actually see all the remote participants, but throw your hands in the air if you want this to happen again next year. Hey. We're going to take that as a big positive yes. So last year went, uh, last year, well, the first one was 50 people in one room. The second one last year was 150 people in two rooms. This year was 1,000 participants in eight rooms. I reckon next year we could, you know, go, uh, go up there somewhere. It should be fairly cool. So thank you all very much. This is the official close of GovHack 2013, and we look forward to seeing you online and seeing who the winners are on Thursday. Go home. Woo!